Hey, before we get started, I had a thing I wanted to mention that uh, I think is for a pretty good cause. I am on the board of a nonprofit called Game Changer. What they do is they attempt to make the stay of kids in children's hospitals receiving treatment uh, a little bit more tolerable by providing tech in the form of game consoles and things like that to make the stay more pleasant. Um, there is a game developer that developed a game called I Hope. It's more or less an allegory for uh, fighting cancer. And he decided to just say, hey, Game Changer, uh, I like what you do. I'm gonna give you all the proceeds to the game. So right now the game is in what's called Twitch's Indie Amplifier Contest. And if it receives the highest amount of votes um, uh, across all the games, uh, what it means is basically Game Changer will get $100,000, which is pretty cool. So I wanted to link that in the description. If you head over there, follow the instructions and vote for I Hope, um, and it gets the most amount of votes, then that is $100,000 to uh, the charity. So. Um, it's there for you. It'd be super awesome if you're able to go over there and do that. Um, figured I'd mention it because uh, I think it's pretty cool to have that possibility. So anyway, that said, uh, link in the description and let's move right along to uh, today's Reddit video, which is on the shit car mods. I think maybe if I speak this way, then the YouTube caption will not detect and demonetize video. But again, it is not the Minecraft video and so Probably won't be demonetized. I swear to God. It is only Minecraft videos that get demonetized. It's so bizarre. Okay, anyway, uh, this will provide great inspiration for you on things you might want to do to your own car. We'll start off with the number 19. When there is something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Me. To take a look at it on the subreddit. And, um, I mean, I'm so... It's been a long time since I've even seen Ghostbusters. I don't even remember what... Did they They have a car that looked like that? Jeez. Someone's gonna be like, How dare you not remember the Ghostbusters car? It's a classic. It was a while ago. Was, didn't Ghostbusters come out even before it was born? Was that an 80s movie? I, I've seen it at some point. It's just... It was a while. And, um... It, you know, it, it doesn't look too bad. I, it's not something that I would encourage people to do and drive around with you know as their daily driver but maybe they're going to like a convention they're cosplaying their car and then they're going to be dressed up which is you know not bad that's pretty cool right if you're if you're trying to do it for a convention but I, I question if it's done just permanently but whatever maybe it's some kind of solar collector oh my god i think this was was done seriously and it, it just kind of looks like you took a table out of a restaurant kitchen and we're like, you know what? Don't throw this out. It's like the chef was planning on tossing it. No, 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 no. I can repurpose this. It'll be a great spoiler on my car. Nah, like I'll just flip it upside down, a little shelf where you put your spices. That'll be like one level of the spoiler. And then the bottom of the, the table where the legs, are, that'll be the other level of the spoiler at the top. It doesn't matter that there's no surface there and it's just a couple of bars. We don't need that. I'll get the downforce over here. And then I'll just attach a few two by fours and some metal to the edge and do a lot of just downforce. At least like 100,000 horsepower out of this, dude. Pretty sweet. Punch me. What, what happened? I don't, I don't understand. What, what's going, what is going on here? Is that a, a couch? Is that like, how do you even, there, there's a spoiler though that's like, and then a handle. So do you sit on that? Is it a bed? They're boxing. This must be so unbelievably heavy though. And also it's like fabric. All over the outside of your car which you can't even clean and it's gonna get so dirty and it's just oh no just the idea of thinking about a big thing of fabric driving around it's like the interior of your car brought outside it's gonna be so gross imagine that after it rains mold oh the water is gonna get all in there and it's gonna get moldy and smell and then you have this which probably weighs ten thousand pounds and at this thing the suspension must just be bottomed out at all times you're just jolted all over trying to do anything because there's no suspension. And it must have like a zero to 60 time of, I don't know, a year? Something like that? This midlife crisis starts with a cacao. See, we've seen some tasteful Lightning McQueens on here before on maybe awful taste but great execution. But I don't know. 
I think I think lotuses are pretty cool, and therefore I'm not sure how to feel about this. But you know, at the same time, it's all decals, right? You can always remove it. That's the thing about you know doing a Lightning McQueen or any other thing like this. You can always it's, it's reversible, so it doesn't it doesn't strike me as really bad. It's the ones that are really difficult to kind of go back to normal that that hurt me a bit inside. Um, but yes, I do think it would look better in just red, but whatever. Supreme. I'm guessing it's, it's going to be a wrap. Uh, it's a wrap. Yep. Or maybe it's... I think it's just a bunch of stickers, actually. Not a wrap. It's just... It's 100% covered in stickers. And then it also, to top it all off, says uh, Savage. Pretty sure that says Savage. And there's a lot of air bubbles on those stickers, um, which again, when it rains, is going to get a lot of yuck under there and gross and I had moldy and dirty and you're gonna ruin the paint and I don't know why you did that. I don't, I guess maybe you're just like, yeah, I'm getting rid of this thing soon, so may as well. Um, also, uh, that, that's, you know, different wheels. Which is, uh, which is interesting, too. It's pretty low, probably scrapes a lot. Hey, you can see some damage on the stickers down there. It's, it's hit a few speed bumps in its time. Um, sure thing, sure, yep, that's, that's a thing. Florida! <laughs> we got a lot of spoiler alerts in this episode. Um, I feel like this one is at the very least self-aware and uh, they've done it for the sake of people taking photos like this, you know? If you put that on the underside of your spoiler, I mean, you know that people are gonna take photos and share it, and I feel like that's kind of the purpose. So we're, we're just, we're going into it. Florida man puts send nudes on the underside of his M3 spoiler. Hey, at least it's an actual spoiler this time around that probably has some aerodynamic properties as opposed to uh, the restaurant kitchen table. So we've seen some degree of improvement. <laughs> Not uh, shitty, but ironic. Um, e wait, isn't that a... Uh, that's the wrong side. Usually the flames are supposed to go the other direction, isn't it? That's also... I could use some more pixels here. Um, potato camera. Done intentionally, if anyone doesn't know, the joke is those cars had a bad habit of catching fire when they were rear-ended. At least that's what I've heard. Huh. Well, it's a joke. What do you know? That's actually kind of funny. I would not have otherwise known that. So, it's on purpose. It's not the shitty karmada, but uh, I guess it's not ironic, it's pr on purpose. Since we're comparing Kachow cars, here's one I saw. Um, that's actually pretty well executed, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the decals look very well applied. Um, the rims look like they were well, well done with the, the paint and or powder coat execution. Um, I don't know, it's not that bad. Man, I don't know what people's problems are with these things, but I feel like that would kind of make a kid's day, you know? If they were a fan of the Cars movies, they'd see that and be like, yo, it's like, it's real life Lightning McQueen. This is, even though it's not a Corvette, but still, you know, Mustang, Corvette, close enough. Sorry, Ford, I, I shouldn't say that, you're, because um, you gotta, gotta stay in good standing with Ford, you know? With the incoming GT, which will happen soon. Thank God they added the spoiler. A lot of spoiler stuff. Huh. I wonder what that started life as. It kind of just looks like a death trap at this point. Like, it's just a, a, a big open cavern there with basically foil reinforcing it. I would not want to have it get in a rollover in that thing. But, you know, it's pretty low to the ground. Pretty aerodynamic. It's got a lot of downforce. You probably couldn't flip it even if you tried. I just want to know what it started off life as. Took some inspiration from the Saline S7, I think. And then they were like, you know how we could improve a Saline S7? By putting another gigantic spoiler on top of the spoiler. So you get two spoilers. Because everyone knows two spoilers is better than one. The roof scoop looking great there. Probably totally functional because is it? A, it could actually be a mid-engine car. It doesn't look big enough to have an engine up there, so... I wonder what kind of, I really wonder what kind of car it started off as. Or is it completely ground up? Hmm. This seemed relevant here. When you accidentally step on a toy car and break the wheels. I think we might have seen this, just the, the non-memed image before on here. But, you know, now we've got the other one. It looks kind of like a balloon animal, that's what I think. If you were to make a car 
but out of balloons, that's probably about how the wheels would look. I just, I, whenever I see a car like that, usually not that extreme, but you do see them. I always just wonder how long the tires are gonna last, because it can't be that long. They probably get like a few thousand miles, and then it's like, well, nope, that's, that's that. Mm -mm. You've completely worn out just one edge of them, and they're not drivable anymore. It's not safe in the rain. Um, it's actually probably not that safe in the rain to begin with when you tilt your tires like that. Whatever. It is what it is. The brand new 2018 Ferrari Hyundai with the front wing option. It... <laughs> Nice, it has the Ferrari sticker there. It, this guy, actually, though, he's um, an expert at the uh, very little-known sport of reverse racing. And when you do reverse racing, it's very important when your reverse gear tops out at 20 miles an hour that you have that spoiler back there for downforce because otherwise you might flip when you're going around those tight turns at 20 miles an hour in reverse. In fairness, that would actually probably be a really difficult thing to do, reverse racing. Um, I just don't think that the uh, front spoiler is necessary. When a Beetle isn't good enough, you know how people joke sometimes that it's actually more of like a Top Gear Grand Tour thing that a 911 is its just like, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, well, I, I guess they really wanted to turn their Volkswagen Beetle into a 911. That must be the idea. I mean, it's, it's even got the turbo. The 911 turbo side intakes, it's got like the whale tail back, back from the 80s. The two, it's got a target top on it. Like, they really went all out. It just, they went a little bit too crimson chin on the front, I think. That could have been a little bit more elegant rather than, rather than blocky. Um, it's a good attempt and really, at the end of the day, it's part of the Volkswagen family. So, you know, it's, uh, it works. Uh, community drunk's car becomes more duct tape and less car every week. Is there such thing as a community drunk? I've like, <laughs> maybe that's more of like a small town thing. Uh, I don't know if that's a... I shit the car mod as so much as uh, just trying to not have to go fix your car. Yeah, just, just trying to make do, salvage it. Florida man uses duct tape uh, to avoid going to repair shop and, and spending money and having to report to insurance and having insurance increase. Anywho, motorcycle tires. Uh, how do you curb that part of your wheel? Like so much. Yeah, It's like this part over here is fine, but the middle part, it's like you curb it on a just a bar, just a high high bar, storm drains. You curb it on a storm drain all the time. <laughs> Ooh, it's uh, it could more or less be the front of a Dodge Demon, if you've seen those. That's what the front wheels look like, pretty much. Um, but I, I would hope that, you know, someone hasn't curbed their Dodge Demon like this. Good Lord. Yeah, I mean, hey, if you're looking for a quick donut replacement, if you got a messed up wheel, you may as well go for what's accessible. Only in Florida would you see something like this. It kind of looks like they're transporting just a, a suburban chassis um, on top of a flatbed, except there needs to be a cab up there, like pulling it and not, it, just, it really looks like they took, the. it's a truck bottom, and then the a suburban, they just took a crane, popped it on top, and um, you're like, yeah, no, this could work. You can't ever take it into a parking garage. You can't take it into your home garage. Um, but you can run over everything. So you'll always win in accidents, if that's your concern. Uh, Overfender with no gas cap access. So what you're saying is you actually have to take off a body panel of, from your car every time you have to fill up with gas. Even even if the thing like looks nice with everything there, that might be a winner on on the shoot the car mods. That's think it, it could be that difficult if you're forming body panels. You can just put a oh my like th this has some this has some lines on it. I mean, this doesn't look like an easy piece to make. Surely you can install a gas cap. Woo. Damn, I had no clue you can make a slingshot look worse. Hey, slingshots don't look that bad. Wow. Oh my God. That's, um, huh. Now it just looks like a, a truck cab. It just doesn't, it's not towing anything. 
Oh my goodness. That's wild. It looks like a, it kind of looks like just a snap-on, like Lego piece or something like that. You just buy it and then some giant hand comes and just, boop, plops it on top of the thing. <laughs> just sitting right on top of the actual body panels. Wow, okay. Hey, I don't mind the slingshot. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of cool, I suppose. I, I think a BAC mono would be much, much cooler, but it only seats one. So if you want to have a passenger, you can't do a BAC mono. Uh, and this is also much more affordable. So, anywho, but yeah, that's wild. Just beautiful. Fluoride. There is poison in the tap water. Oh, I see. There's a bit of irony going on because of the smoking. That, yeah. No, I... I see what's I see what's going on here. It's it's ironic. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. That's the legendary Subaru Baru Baru. We've seen this before, and it wasn't on this one. This, there's another one. Oh god, you should have centered it though. But I guess that would have required a lot of work to move everything rather than just adding on after the the UE. Subaru Baru Baru. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for bringing another one of these into the world. I don't remember how long ago we saw the first, but um, this isn't this isn't the original, but it's quality nonetheless. <laughs> I fully support this one. It is not shitty. It is great. Yeah, everybody should do this to their Subaru. Okay. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's it for the last month of uh, Shit the Car mods. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Reddit videos, more of of these. A particular subreddit uh, subscribe if you're not already and if you want to listen to the music playing in the background uh, Link is in the outro over on Mary music and once again um, If you want to help with the the charity game stuff link in the description um, And you can go cast your votes and also oh I should have mentioned you like if the game wins you get it for free So there there is that kind of kind of a nice little bonus too. Um, so anyway, that's it I'll see you next time Show you love, show you.